Well, each April in Miami-Dade County, you can find poetry in the most unsuspecting places. It's all part of the annual O oh Miami Poetry Festival, a month-long celebration of Miami with the goal of getting everyone who lives or comes through the area to encounter a poem. And this year, O oh Miami's first permanent art installation will be revealed. The 12-foot by 40-foot metal sculpture, Stay Gold, was the winner of last year's Public Space Challenge grant from the Miami Foundation and will live in the middle of the Robert is Here Papaya Field in South Dade. So cool. Here with all the details and what to expect during this year's festival is O Miami Managing Director Melody Santiago Cummings and Jesse Knight, local contemporary artist and project creator of Stay Gold. Jesse, so cool and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. How did you feel when you found out that you were the winner and that this and we have a little mock-up here yeah. that that was going to kind of live forever in the fields by Robert is here. It's very exciting. It's a project we've been working on for a while. And it's really about, you know, putting public art somewhere that doesn't really have it and really activating it through free community programming, things that are really reflective of the environment, um, things that showcase the rare tropical fruits that we have, the beautiful sunsets, and the nature that just kind of will grow and fill in the negative space of the letters. I love that. I feel like you felt you spent so much time thinking about how the sun's gonna like it, it's, it's gonna change as the sun keeps shifting. You yeah, know? every day of the year it's gonna be different. Every yeah. second of the day it's gonna be different, and it's really supposed to be just you know a frame to kind of capture the life and it. activity of South Dade. Beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, thumbs up. I love it. Not that I got to vote or anything, but I love it. So Melody, welcome back. We had you on last year Thank talking you for about O Miami. Me. I know you're holding up too. There's a Stay Gold um, interactive book for kids, mm -hmm. right? Like a coloring book, activity book. Nice. That showcases the tropical fruit and some poetry and some activations that you can do when you visit the sculpture. I love it. So talk about O Miami for people who don't remember what it's all about and how cool it is. Well, O Miami is a 30-day poetry festival that starts April 1st and runs the entire length of April, which is National Poetry Month. And in the course of these 30 days, we will be producing 60 projects and special events all geared with democratizing poetry, putting poetry in unexpected places, and having folks encounter poetry um, in un you know, unexpected and sort of delightful yeah, yeah. ways. Okay, so let's talk about some of those unexpected and delightful ways. One of them is a, it looks like you're getting a parking ticket. I have one, wait, what are we gonna do with my parking? But talk about that. Where, here we go, here we go. Look, it looks like a, par, it's like a parking citation. And you, so you get this on your windshield and you're like, oh, really? But it's a poem. So talk about, who thought about this? So uh, project manager Christina Frigo uh, first created this project in 2013 yeah. and we distributed hundreds around Miami-Dade County. So it was such a hit, we decided to do it again. And this time we're featuring six poets and some poets are um, invited to read. They'll be having readings uh, this month, if mm -hmm. you look at the calendar. Um, and some other poets are from our Poetry in Schools program. Cool. So what we're doing is having a street team of poetry meter maids. <laughs> meter maids, <laughs> Go get it? around and clandestinely put them all over people's windshields so that you know they stop and they have a moment of sort of agitation that they think they're getting a citation. I love it. And then it's a moment of poetry. Yeah, and so like on this one, it's a couple of fourth graders. One is called The Coolest Grandpa. I'm gonna read the first line. My grandpa is as cool as a person in the movie Grease. Isn't that cool? I mean, it's so cute. They're so fun. These are really cute. Okay, speaking of cute kids, can we please talk about poetry in pajamas? Poetry in pajamas. Okay, let's roll it and then we'll talk about it afterwards on the other side of it. Take a look. Oh, I'm being eaten by a boa constrictor. A boa constrictor? A boa constrictor. I'm being eaten by a boa constrictor and I do not like it one bit. Oh, All right, tell us about these cuties. So this is Sam and Simon Kaplan, and they are the stars of Poetry in Pajamas. <laughs> so they've been writing poetry since they were, before they could even read. And um, this April, on April 12th, we're hosting the second annual Poetry in Pajamas. And it's a poetry party and poetry reading at Miami Beach Botanical Gardens. And so the rule is just show up in your PJs and we'll have an open mic. And there's going to be food and family activities. I love that. That's so cute. Um, so what else? We also have, there are like the wrappers that you get around your pastelitos, the tissue paper. You're going to have poems on that we're as well. Having, yeah, Tell another project 
called um, Para Llevar o Para Aquí. Mm -hmm. And so we're making thousands of poetry baking tissue. Mm -hmm. So we'll be partnering with local bakeries and ventanitas. And so with your pastelito, your croqueta, you'll have a side of poetry. Okay. I love that. Mm -hmm. And then the, what's the one that's the um, poetry in small spaces? What's the, okay. the, tell me about that. So this is a project in partnership with the Wolfsonian. And it's basically, it's a teeny tiny residency. And so we've transformed the Bridge Tender House, which is like yeah. this public art sculpture outside of the Wolfsonian. And it's a micro residency for 12 local poets in Miami. And that'll be um, happening all month long. I love that, and anybody can stop by. We're quickly running out of time. Jesse, just tell what inspires you. Why do you? What inspires you to create? Well, I do. I do a lot of public work, and it's very much about the environment. I do some works that are based on the shadows. Um, when the sun hits it, it reveals text, and it's really just about the fact that we're all unified under the sun, and you know, through this environment of South Florida, and whether you're from the discerning art world or you're just, you know, your everyday person passing by, you know, the work is meaningful and it's really reflective of the place that it's put. And that's really what inspires me to make it. That's beautiful. And I think too, we've learned that people, everybody has some little, little bit of creativity inside of them, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So thank you so much. This is going to be really fun. Thank you. Keep us posted. All right. On, I'll see you. On how, yes. <laughs> uh, I told you I was inspired to write a zip ode. Um, I'm going to give it to you. I'm not going to read it out loud, oh. but it's, he said, oh, it has to do with your zip code. I love it. <laughs> so look up Zip Ode. I think you'll have fun creating your own. And for more on scheduled events, readings, and workshops during this year's O Miami Poetry Festival, visit omiami.org. As always, we're going to have the information for you on our Facebook page at Yourself FL.